Well, it looks like a tale of two cities here. It has been a tale of two cities if you just look at those two companies, eBay and Amazon, for you know the better part of a decade. It wasn't. It was about a decade ago when eBay was bigger in terms of market cap and bigger in terms of overall sales. But that's fundamentally changed. And the challenge, structural challenge that eBay faces, is that they're not vertically integrated, and consumers increasingly want products now, now, now. You know, next hour, next day, or same day, and that's harder and harder for eBay to deliver like that. And we may uh, be seeing a little bit of a peak in the recovery of eBay in terms of their GMV growth rate. The data that came out of Amazon Prime Day, I think the two most important data points were record numbers of new Prime subscribers. That's something we've been watching as an issue. And then secondly, the 100 million uh, units sold uh, during that uh, time period. Uh, Amazon seems to be uh, clicking on all cylinders right now. eBay is not. Uh, Kirk, you recently had a bullish note on Microsoft and its progress with Azure. Uh, we recently saw Microsoft do this tie-up with Walmart in that department and not being shy about saying, hey, this is about taking on uh, Amazon and uh, trying to blunt their uh, cloud ambitions. What makes you excited about Microsoft? Do you expect them to overtake Amazon in significant ways? How, how bullish are you really? Well, I think, I think we're very bullish on what Microsoft's trying to do. But I, I would say when you think about the public cloud in general right now, it's not necessarily a mutually exclusive winner and loser category right now. The pie is growing very fast. Microsoft, I think, is doing an exceptional job at the enterprise level, taking share. I think you could argue they're taking share within the enterprise. But this is a growing pie that you see a lot of the major players doing well, whether it's AWS, Azure, even GCP. So you know, our comfort level and bullishness around Microsoft really stems from the fact that the commercial business is in a very good position when you think about both, not only Azure, but the Office 365 properties. And Microsoft, when you look at it now, is this really double digit growing annuity stream. And so when you're an investor and you can get uh, mid, you know, low to mid teens compounding earnings and cash flow growth, it's a, it's a really unique story, I think, across all of tech, but, but absolutely within the software universe. Mark, I want to get your thoughts on Alphabet in light of that record fine uh, from the European Commission yesterday. Obviously, been a lot of focus on potential regulatory risks for the big cap tech stocks. Is this a sign that we could see more regulation and more potential fines to come, be it in Europe or other parts of the world? Or is this really a sign that maybe the worst has already happened? I'm going to probably take that uh, that latter part, that the worst is uh, behind us. At least it seems like investors are thinking that, and I think they're right to think that. That fine wasn't as uh, bad as feared. I think the fears were closer to... 10 billion. And then when it comes to Android, uh, you know, it's really hard to see a market share shift away from Android anytime soon. Uh, and there's no doubt uh, what's been good for consumers. If you didn't have Android, uh, fewer people would have smartphones and they'd be spending a lot more for them. So, in fact, this has been positive for for consumers, for mobile Internet. And yes, of course, Google has benefited from this and they've been aggressively commercial about it. And they've been doing some things that should be regulated. But it's really hard to see how at this stage in the game, we, here we are 10 years into the mobile tsunami that is the Internet, how uh, Android and Google are going to be negatively impacted. It's really hard to see how business practices shift back. And frankly, for consumers, you probably hope that they don't shift back. So we think uh, Google right now is one of our top three picks. We think we're at peak reg. We think we're at peak OPEX concerns. And we love this catalyst that's coming in the back half of this year that's not related to regulation. It's all related to Waymo and autonomous vehicles. We like Google shares right here, right now. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.